Okay. Cops are too fucking stupid to read two lines of the Criminal Code of Canada and understand it properly, right? They don't rely on any of that kind of bullshit. Well, oh, you know, these, these are the public roads, and you're required to have a driver's license, and we own these roads, the RCMP, and we are the law, and you have to do everything we say just to be on them. Really? Tell me more. I want to hear all about this, please. I want to hear all about how you guys own the roads. I want to hear every stupid, ridiculous, retarded claim you people are about to make because you're going to have to prove that up. You're, you're just testifying against yourself right now, and you're damaging me. I think it's hilarious the more that they speak. And then you get a guy like uh, Constable Dave there out in B.C. Uh, who admits that he's never even heard of the Canadian Bill of Rights. He thought I was talking about American law. And these idiots are out patrolling the roads and harming people, and they know nothing about law. And so they open it up and sure as fuck right in there, it says that the highways and the, and the roads that the public has the right to access. Does that say I have the privilege of being on the roads with one of your licenses, or does that say I have a right? And he said, well, clearly, clearly we have the right to, to, to regulate that right. I said, does that even make fucking sense? I said, if you can regulate it, it's not a right. It doesn't say privilege there. It says right, my friend. But this, this RCMP notice right here just says that for some, we're under the misunderstanding that we have the right to access the roads when it says that in the criminal code of canada so which which one is it you know these people are so fucking stupid and arrogant that it just blows your mind you guys will love the officer's notes when i realized an intellectual conversation was about to take place i called for backup <laughs> <laughs> no shit, dude. i read that into the court and i said yeah buddy because you have no idea how unarmed you were for that i call them really criminal mindless pricks i was not traveling i was preambulating in my carriage <laughs> And you must call it a carriage and not a carriage because the proper pronunciation will determine whether or not the law apply to you. Like, come on, what puke is that? Like, anybody that believes that horse shit, uh, that's why they're going to go to jail. What's really important is working 80 hours a week uh, so that you can afford the, the next model of car that comes out next year. And always make sure you've got the newest, most cutting-edge car, even though there's nothing wrong with the one you just had. I was at a friend's house, and uh, I think an episode of Friends came on. I was watching it for a couple minutes, and everybody's sitting there drooling. And I'm thinking to myself, this is the stupidest fucking thing I've ever watched in my life. I'm actually so unentertained right now, I might just go stare at the floor for a while. I, mean, I was on Angela Stark there one night a little while back, and I, I started off by saying, now, all you people that are on the call tonight that haven't canceled your cable or your satellite package yet, I want you to I want you to shut off the radio and stop listening, because there's no point in me even speaking to you people. For people that haven't taken the, the, the plunge yet to no, no more cable TV, I promise you, within one month, you're going to actually question yourself as to how you ever could have enjoyed watching that puke. The media is not working anymore. The people are not believing the lies. Uh, pretty soon here, there's just going to be a couple of them in a room believing their own bullshit. Hey, do you guys realize that there's a reason they call it news and entertainment? They're not yeah. obligated to tell you the truth because they consider it entertainment. And I, I've got the, the Supreme Court case on that. You know, you're going to discover real quick when you look back over your life that it's the universe uh, yeah, that's speaking to you. Um, it's been trying to teach you stuff for an awful long time, but it's competing with the TV right now. If you can't live without a beer, knowing that it's funding rapists and fucking criminal cocksuckers, then you are the problem. Oh, he's got such a potty mouth. I can't listen to him because he uses the F word. Fuck you. <laughs> of course I do. They're trying to kill me and my planet. You know, do you game? And I'm like, well, what do you mean? Like, well, you play like Call of Duty? And I'm like, no, no, I've got this other game that uh, you probably wouldn't even believe it. It's called Life, and it's called getting into a res arrest scenario with an RCMP in the Sobeys parking lot. You want real life and excitement where there's real consequences, join the fucking game of life, baby. Because you're not going to get that from a video game system. That's a pathetic replacement. Come and join the game of life, baby, where there's real consequences. Then you're going to learn how to strategize. Yeah, and, and, and at what point do you realize you have a problem with your children when they're spitting on you and smacking you because you won't buy them the newest video game? And then they can't believe when their children are 16 that they're sociopaths. Why are your kids fucked up? Because you're not assuming any liability. You're letting the TV, the video games, and the, and the psychiatrist raise them. When Child Family Services comes into the house to take your kids in the United States, that's when uh -huh. you take your gun out and you blow their head right off. And I you might agree. go to jail, but you know what? They're going to be wary the next time they do that because they're not supposed to interfere with the family unit. So that that's when I justify violence. It's like uh, that Larkin Rose video. When is it okay to shoot a 
a cop. It's okay to shoot a cop when it's okay to shoot anybody else, which means anybody that comes into my house to try to steal my children are going right. to get killed. I don't care if it's the police. I don't care if it's a rapist. I don't care who it is. It's a crime. They've legalized crime. They've legalized the kidnapping of children and called it child family services or, so, or some other horseshit, some other puke. When you walk into a courtroom, you're having a bit of a spiritual battle with that judge and your will is overpowering him. And if you know that what you're doing is right and you know they can't harm you and you got no fear and you're looking at him and you're smiling. And in my mind, I'm saying over and over again, you're full of shit. You're a scumbag. You're full of shit. You're lying. They actually get uncomfortable. And I've witnessed it. They stare at the floor. They won't look at you. Sheriff, take this man away. When a judge orders a sheriff or a bailiff to grab you, you turn around and you say, you don't touch me. I will defend myself to the death. First limb mm. that touches me gets broken off, you fucking cocksucker. Don't put up with nothing from these people. You have to stand your ground. Uh, unfortunately for them, I mean, I've, I've never been afraid of these cocksuckers ever in my life. They don't scare me one bit. Right? What does the Bible say about agree with thine adversary quickly, lest he drag you before the magistrate and throw you in jail? Does that mean for you to agree with everything that he claims? No. Agreement means you prove your claim. Oh, you can't. Okay, good. We have agreement. Now, fuck off. They got several new tactics. One of them is putting their fingers in their ears and going, la, 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 I can't hear you when you're speaking in the courtroom. Um, that's their newest tactics now is just completely ignoring us and or trying to make us sound crazy in the courtroom. Or the minute you say even one word of something that they construe to be quotation marks remand related, they start throwing out the psychological evaluation card. They're getting very desperate and they're getting very pathetic. You cannot legalize a crime. They're stealing private property. Property. They're harming me. There is no statute you can pass that legitimizes that. It's all word games and word play to make you believe that it actually has force and effect. No different than if they were to pass something called the Surprise Sex Act, drag me into the ditch, fuck me in the ass, and say we have a license to do that. If it's a crime, like rape, then you yeah. cannot license it to make it legal because rape is a crime. So you cannot license marijuana any more than you can license raping because a license, by definition, is something is permission to do something which would otherwise be be illegal. Marijuana can never be made illegal, and a rape can never be made legal. What nonsense is that? Are they actually going to show up in court and say, oh, well, you have to do what we say because of a papal bull in 12th century that declared everybody lost at sea? I'd ask them what kind of fucking crack they're on because I want to try some. And I had something really cool I was going to say, but I can't think of it right now. Shit. I'll let somebody else assume liability for that. Lawyers don't learn law. Lawyers learn procedure. They learn how to fill in paperwork. They are the most useless, <laughs> uneducated, illogical, stupid douchebags on the planet. And you can see it because as soon as you start talking about real law and with a lawyer, their, their eyes just glaze over and they go blank like a TV screen that has no signal coming in. The minute you hire a lawyer, you have just subjected yourself to a system that does not recognize your freedoms and liberties. Because if you use a lawyer, you have no rights at all. Uh, hiring a lawyer reduces your status to something that doesn't that is not afforded any of the rights you could possibly call on uh to, to receive remedy in those courts if you want to make a lawyer run away real quick just slide him a little form that has one sentence on it and that just says that uh my first Whoa. duty is to my client and not to the court yeah and if he wouldn't sign that why would you ever use a lawyer why would you ever use that guy your lawyer cannot ask questions that will help you. Your lawyer cannot say anything that will help you. Your lawyer cannot suggest anything to you that will help you because the whole point of the Bar Association and the Law Society is to pervert the course of justice and deny you your rights. I can tell you right now, the agreements they had to enter into to be called to the bar and to be accepted would see them in jail for the rest of their life if That's they exposed right. what was going on because they've already contracted. They're done. This is all the Bar Association. It's all the Law Society. They wanted to make everything, laws and statutes, statutes under their jurisdiction that only they can interpret and give legal advice on, and you have to be licensed in order to do that. So this is nothing more than a monopolization of law. The scam goes everywhere, and it all goes back to the monopoly, the franchise, right out of England, which is the Bar Association. The entire scam is explained to you in Galatians 4. You think it's the first time they've done this? Woe unto you lawyers, because when we figure out who we are, you're the servants for life, and I'm going to order you to bend over and take it up the ass. People rejoice in the suffering of their fellow man to Today. That's how depraved we have become morally as a people. We, we actually rejoice and celebrate in seeing our fellow man suffer, especially somebody that has it coming to them for attempting to be free.
you have the most to fear from people who know nothing. There's no question because these people will die protecting the system that they think actually does them some form of benefit. If I was a benevolent alien race looking down this planet right now, do you think that I would waste my time getting involved in disputes on people's behalf who are too fucking lazy to even get up off the couch and help themselves first? All right. So how many of you people know that money doesn't exist and it's completely worthless and everybody put up their hand? And I'd say, good. Pull out your wallets and put it all in the collection plate because it's worthless. (laughs) Then the hand started going down. So I said, good. That's what I thought. Next person to tell me that money has no value can fucking leave and I'm never going to speak to them ever again because they're a moron can you believe how fucking dumb those people were if you knew how many americans i've met that didn't know where canada was you would not believe it (laughs) yes and so yeah i i I used to not be able to believe so it's no wonder they're as deceived as they are they'll believe anything because they don't know anything it's pretty easy to keep a lot of people in the dark i mean just look at the irs they've got an entire organization of people that have no idea that the income tax act is completely unenforceable yet we have swat teams taking down farmers for not paying income taxes the best day of your life will be the one where you wake up and you look in the mirror and realize that you're a fucking retard and then from that day on you're going to do everything in your power to make it better. Oh, yeah. you want to start enjoying life. And I'm sorry, we don't we don't deal with <laughs> weird people around here. We want people who hate life and can't wait to go back to work on Monday morning to have everything that they make stolen from them. Yeah, I, I pull those out of my uh, my butt every once in a while, eh? Look at that. I even didn't swear. I am trainable, even. We put our trust in government. We think they're a real government. We think they have our best interests at heart. None of these people have our best interests at heart. They have a paycheck at heart. Yeah, they started calling themselves uh, really fancy names instead of uh, public servants, which they really are. Now they're all sorts of really neat things like ministers and officials. Oh, they're officials. No, dude, you're a servant. Go pick up my dog poop and clean my dishes because I got stuff to do. You guys want to have some fun? Mail a public servant a certified copy of your birth certificate. Put his name on it and order him to come and clean your toilets. Is it Stephen Harper feels the need to commit suicide and hang himself? He has my full 100% support to do that, and I hope he uses hemp rope when he does it. I told him that I own a farm just up the road from him, and there will be several acres of hemp growing there this summer without license and I invite them to bring the SWAT team to burn down my crop because I told them basically you can go fuck yourselves. I don't need a license to do a thing. I don't have to obey you people. Oh, democracy is so great because we practice the free market system. You just try. You just try to get into business for yourself in their free market system. You find out how fucking free it is real quick. Even direct democracy still allows for 51% of the people who are going to be some of the dumbest motherfuckers this planet has ever seen deciding what the other 49% are going to do. Well, let's well, put it well, this let way, stop, Let me stop you, right? We don't answer to government. They answer to us. We created them. If we didn't create them, then they're completely foreign to us, which means they have nothing to do with us. If I created them, they obey me. If I didn't create them, I have nothing to do with them, which means they certainly have no right to be uh, interfering and in, in my private affairs. Three, if I just kind of kind of allow them to continue existing, that doesn't grant anybody authority over me either. So it's all crap and puke. The, the governments that, that we currently have governing over us, which not our governments, were not created by us. They weren't created for us. And they're not there to benefit us. They're there to benefit the people that created them. They take all this tax money. 90% goes, it just disappears. And 10% goes back into the system to make it look like they're really doing something for us, which they're not. But yeah, we don't need governments anymore. Governments are put in place by rich people to control the masses and to create Ponzi schemes for their benefit. It's all a scam. Anybody who believes that it's our patriotic duty to pay income taxes and pay all these taxes to fund a government that is nothing more than a front to siphon money to private corporations owned by these politicians, they need their head examined. I don't care where you come from in the world. It's the same scam. You were born free, and then you voluntarily contracted with a corporate democracy and got recognized as a legal person under their UCC code. Oh, man, this is why people defend the government. The government feeds them nothing but lies and bullshit. They are the great Satan of commerce, and everybody fucking loves it, laps yeah. it up. Oh, yeah, look look at everything Satan's given us. I love it. I'll defend these guys to the death. What is going through people's heads when they believe that they're free and, and uh, oh, everybody just has to pay their share? But we are free. But they also know that the minute they ever spoke up against something, they would have their teeth kicked in by the powers that used to be. People are willing to accept idiocy to maintain their delusions. People want to believe that this is a real government and that we must all obey it so badly that they'll think up any excuse to justify it in their own minds because they don't want to have to fight for their own rights. The people who don't want to fight for their rights are cowards. and They don't want to accept that. What's the worst they're going to do? Kill you? Number yeah. one, you're going to die anyways. In the meantime, you got to live in this shithole world that's getting worse every day. And you got to live like a 
boot-licking fucking coward just to get by and live so that you're not in fear of them coming to kill you. If everybody thinks that it's up to the police and attorneys to, to sue government to hold them accountable, I mean, uh, wake up. Nah, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a t-shirt made up that says, uh, this is your brain on government, and then it's going to have a, a character of somebody sucking off Satan. Well, you know what? I, I feel very defeated by all the bad things going on on the planet, so we should just give up and just live life for our, our own enjoyment now. Me? Live what about me? What about live me? Live the what now. Me? But I just want to be instantly gratified right the fuck now. Now, because this is all coming down, we're all going to die in the next 24 hours anyway. So that's that rant. <laughs> I love it. It's great.